So, first things first, okay? I see myself as a cartoon connoisseur, okay? I've always been locked in on them, okay? You can ask me anything about any cartoon, I'm gonna give you, like, I'm gonna give you each, each and every detail about it, like, how I feel about it, how it is, if it's trash, if it's good, what do you do? So what we're we gonna do today, we are going to rank the Cartoon Network shows that they dropped throughout the years, okay? That's, that's what we're gonna do. I don't, I can't even see, like, half of them. Honestly, bro, I don't even know, like, what some of these even say. Oh, first things first, I don't know what that is, so I'm just gonna skip over that. 16. I remember 16 as, like, a, it was, like, a bridge between Adult Swim and Cartoon Network at the time. Like, it was, like, some jokes in it was, like, very, like, adult-based. Because, you know, it was, like, teenage, teenage content, you know, pretty much. But... It wasn't, it wasn't very, like, memorable, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I was to show this to any one of my friends, they'd probably be like, what is this? Or, like, someone would be like, it looks familiar, but they don't know what it is exactly. It wasn't a bad show. It just wasn't that memorable. I'll say that. So, I'll put it at C. I'll put it at C. Dang, this is a lot of shows, man. I'm, I'm probably going to speed run through, like, most of these now that I'm looking at it. But it is what it is. Adventure Time, y'all already know where that's going. At S. I don't need to even say anything. I'm not even going to... I'm not even gonna rain on about it. Um, is that the naked thing? Like the naked animal show? I know that I don't know the exact name of it, but I think that's like the naked animals show that they dropped like way back in the day. Th that show was very weird. I ain't gonna lie, it was very weird. So I, did it even, did it get canceled like after one season? Like how many seasons did it had? I don't even know. I, it wasn't even that good, honestly, man. No, I'm putting that bad. I'm putting that bad. Amazing word of gumball. Now hear me out, okay? Hear me out. I feel like it's really, like, everybody can agree on this, too. Like, Amazing World of Gumball, an A-plus show. It wasn't an S tier because it wasn't, like, it's not touching, it's not touching, like, what Adventure Time and regular show got. They got their own uniqueness to it, and it's just, everyone's favoring that over Amazing World of Gumball. But it's not bad. It's The show is not bad at all. I don't know. I, think, I felt like it kind of censored itself a little bit. Like, at first, when the show first dropped, it was very much, like, way more unhinged than over the... The next seasons after after that first season i don't know maybe and the animation changed a little bit too apple and onion i watched this show one time and i can purely say this show is pretty much an acid trip it's not not like in a colorful sense to it not like that more so like what 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 is going like what is going on like there's a town just filled with food the plot is just it's, it doesn't stick you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't even tell you, like, the first episode of Apple and Onion. That is definitely going into... I'm going to put that mediocre. I'm going to put that mediocre. Because I don't hate the show. I don't have any hate towards it. It was just very eh. You know? It was just eh. Like, okay, cool. Next channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm skipping it. Baby Looney Tunes. Okay. Hmm. I was like, I was like in elementary when they dropped Baby Looney Tunes. I'm gonna put that as good. Looney Tunes is in the like cartoon hall of fame, like probably in the first row. Like it's it's cemented. They locked in. So anything Looney Tunes is going is gonna be hard. They have their moments where they can be trash. You know what I'm saying? Look at multiverses. Just saying that wasn't fully Looney Tunes, but you know, or was that Looney Tunes at all? Oh no, it wasn't. Looney, that wasn't fully Looney Tunes. But you get the point I'm saying. The original Ben 10. Hear me out. That shit was S tier. Okay, the first Ben 10 was S tier. I don't give a damn, bro. There's too many. It's too much. It's too much nostalgia behind this show for me. It holds a very dear spot in my heart. Uh, I don't remember all the names because I'm old as fuck now. You know what I'm saying? I'm 21. That's not really old, but you know. The fire guy, fire as hell. Diamondback, Diamondback. Whenever when he revealed Diamondback, bro, that 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 was like that shit was peak, honestly, bro. Oh, this is when they did the spinoffs. Oh my god, I, I wasn't really a big fan of the spinoffs, honestly. The second one, the second one was cool. The second spinoff was okay, but then it just slowly went downhill. I'm just gonna go ahead and put get this out the way. The children's one, when he had Benton as a kid, I'm putting that bad. I don't like it at all. I didn't like it. The Ultimate Alien. Oh shoot, Ultimate Alien was okay. It was cool. I'll put that at good. Ahead of Baby Looney Tunes. Um, but this one, though, I don't, I don't remember this one. I can't remember the exact name of it. But this spinoff was... I'm just going to put it at mid. Camp Laszlo. Camp Laszlo was a solid... It was a good... Sh mm, yeah, it was a good show. It was a good show. It didn't have any... I didn't have any problems with it. Now, looking back at it, it was kind of a little bit boring in a sense. You know what I'm saying? It was just kind of a little bit like a boring brain ride type of cartoon the way I the way I see when I look back at it but like 
for his time, it was cool. It was it wasn't that bad. Chop sock chooks. What the what is that? What is a chop sock chook chook chook? Never mind. Clarence. I don't know how I feel about Clarence. Honestly, Clarence is really. If you sit down and watch it long enough, you're gonna be like, yo, what what is this kid talking about? The kid is literally a a a embodiment of ADHD. But the but the character development and on the on the Minecraft head dude, I forgot his name. I don't think his name was Jeffrey or something. I don't know. Remind me if I'm correct me if I'm wrong. But the character development on him, it was kind of interesting in, in the Clarence show. I'll, I'll be I'll say that right there. It was very interesting. But the overall show, it was mid. It was mid. I'll probably put it over 16 if we're being real. Because I remember that over 16. Because I don't remember 16 because over like vivid memories in my childhood. But other than that, I can't even tell you any like vivid episode of the show. I can tell you about Clarence. I remember when bro, he went to the fast food restaurant with all his friends. And Jeffrey was chipping over a fry. And that's when he knew that Jeffrey had like, you know, problems. I remember that very, very vividly. I can't tell you a 16 episode though. Folks is definitely going to hate me for this, right? And they're gonna be like, oh, I had no childhood. Woo do woo do woo. The 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 school of rock, Andre 3000, point blank period, bro. I just never watched it, bro. And don't be one of them niggas that be like, oh, oh it's an Andre 3000 show. Oh, it, it was the best cartoon ever. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. Chill, bro. Chill, chill, chill. I can be honest and say I never watched it. I'm not gonna say it's bad or it was good. I just never watched it. I'll probably go back and watch it and then later on get my analysis on like Twitter or something. I don't know. It doesn't. It don't really. It don't really matter at the end of the day. Uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Um, you know what? I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it as great. I'm gonna put, wait. Let me think about that. Cause it's that one scene on Courage the Cowardly Dog when like he had that little that thing when he was like return the mess. Like he was outside, let me pull the clip up. It was this scene. Return the slab. Scary as shit. Return the slab. Oh, suffer my curse. Yo, real shit, as a kid, I promise you, I pissed my pants when I seen that shit in full time, bro. When I seen that in full time, I was going to piss my pants. I swear to you, bro. I thought that guy was going to be outside my crib, my window, talking about some return the slab. But Curse of Cali Dog, speed run this bitch. We're going we gonna to put it at a great. Yeah, I'm going to put it over Benson. It's not, it's not going, it's not being kid, uh, kid next door. Craig of the Creek. Craig, you, you know what's crazy? Craig of the Creek gets like... Some some hate. It gets some hate towards it. You know what I'm saying? Not like OD hate, but like the show is bad. You know what I'm saying? Like cancel the show, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like like one of those. When I was watching the show, I haven't watched it recently. I don't know if the show's like canceled or now. Someone let me know that in the comments or something. But it wasn't that bad. It's it's a very interesting show. I like it. And plus the brothers black. We don't even have that many black cartoons now, man. Like let's come on, let's be real, man. Let's appreciate this, man. But it's more like more so relatable, relatable uh, uh uh black cartoons. This was more so like black suburban kid. I'm not a black suburban kid cartoon network, but you know what? Hey, someone will hire me. Someone will hire me. I'll, I'll make the I'll make the greatest show right now. I promise you. I'll make the greatest cartoon. Swear to you. Just give me the chance. Give me the chance. Adult Swim. Anybody hit me up. I'm telling you, I can make yo. I can make y'all the 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 funniest animated series. Swear to you. I'm gonna put that good. I'm put that good. Ahead of Benson. Um, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Listen, Ed, Ed, and Eddie um, is by far one of the best cartoons ever. By far. Folks going to try to be like, nah, 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 nah. It don't hit like that. It's mediocre at best. Woo -de -woo -de -woo. Bro, these niggas got it out the mud together. We watched three. What like what, what grade were they in? What grade were they in? Hold on. They was in the 12th. Of, we watched. We watched 14-year-old kids. Try to make it out the hood for real, bro. Try to make it out the cul-de-sac, bro. We watched them try to make it out the cul-de-sac just to get some job breakers, bro. Try making up, making up ways how to make up bread, bro. That boy Eddie, the short nigga Eddie, we really watched him come up with hella tactics just for him, just for him and his gang to pick up some bread. That's an S tier cartoon. I don't care. Foster's kids. I wanna, I wanna put that great so bad, but I'm trying to be honest with myself. Like, was it really great? And now that I'm looking at this Ben 10 show, I'm putting you back at good too. I put, I'm gonna put Ben 10, yeah, I put Ben 10 down there, and I'm gonna put Fairy Cup. I, Justin, speak correctly, man. What even, what even, what's the name of this show? Hold on. That shit just feels like a tongue twister, bro. Am I tripping? 
what's it called? Foster's Home for Emerging... For, for, hold on. Can I read? Wait. Foster's Home for Emerging... For, hold on. Wait. Hold on. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Okay. Okay. I can read it. I can read it. I couldn't... I, why is this nigga like camo? Am I tripping? Am I tripping though? Am I tripping? Look. Besides the fit though, that could be camo. It's the braids, man. Yo, tan her down a little bit. That's camo. I am a weasel. I am a weasel was definitely a 420 ass show. Like if you're watching this show, like buzzed out your mind or like off of the cart penjamin whatever you're on whatever type of substance i am a weasel is definitely is definitely one of those shows you just watch it, you're like what the fuck am i looking at honestly i'm definitely gonna put this in good it's not great mad now him all right all right this might seem crazy because of what the show was actually like showing mad was definitely a great show for me in my opinion it was just so much like random shit you know what i'm saying and i feel like that why that's why i liked it so much because me well knowing me i have adhd you know what i'm saying so I, I like to like sporadically just do things you know mad was exactly that show mad just just had like different art styles different storytellings different jokes all types of stuff but there was there at times where it kind of got a little unhinged for cartoon network i understand why it got canceled i get it but it was i felt like i felt like it was a great show someone will say it was like it was cool what's that fanboy and jump jump well, i'm tripping fanboy and jump jump this isn't nickelodeon flapjack it's in the greats but it did get a little dark at some times but it got a little weird like when they did like the up close things like let me let me see if i can look it up look at like ugh. oh my <laughs> Yo, this shit is making me sick, bro. Now, problem solvers. Let me show y'all problem solvers real quick before I even say anything about it. Ever since the late Stone Age, there have been unique individuals who solve problems. This is the story of three such heroes: Alfe, Roba, Horus. Problem solvers. Just off of those few seconds, I can tell you right now. This show is a pure acid throw up LSD filled show. I can't even tell you what the show is even about. I mean, yes, it's called Problem Solvers, but there's no direct plot into it. It's just it's just random shit. Steven Universe, S tier. You know why it's S tier? Y'all wanna know why it's S tier? The music, bro. The songs that you hear in Steven Universe. Hold on. All I wanna do oh. is see you turn into oh. a giant woman, a giant woman. All I wanna be is someone who gets to see a giant woman. A giant woman. All I wanna be is someone who gets to see a giant woman. Bro, that alone, bro. The, just the music in Steven Universe alone just hits, bro. It just hits. And the, and the story alone was great, too. So, the original Teen Titans, S tier. Teen Titans Go! In my opinion, was just to just to just to shift Cartoon Network into that child-based type of thing, more towards their like their PG their PG content people. You know what I'm saying? Because wasn't Cartoon Network showing WWE at some point, or am I tripping? I think I'm gapping. They used the phone to make fun of the critics. Yeah, I feel like Teen Titans Go was just to take the take the seriousness out and just make it more goofy. Cause at first I was one of the niggas I was like, yeah, I'm not fucking with Teen Titans Go, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still not gonna like hold it up to par to the original Teen Titans. But bruh, there's some points, bro. I can't even lie. Like Teen Titans Go is kind of funny, bro. It's very funny. It's very funny. So yeah, I'm, it's definitely was still a great show. Total Drama Island S tier. Total Drama Island is S tier. The first one, the first. I feel like I felt like the first three. Is it the first three? Hold on, let me see. Like the first three. It was really the first three. The first three was cool. After that, I was I was kind of like, Ugh. I don't give a f I don't really care about this show that much. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't really care about it. I don't remember the you don't remember the rest. I don't remember us either. The Transformers animated show. I remember v vividly, right? This is a fun. This is a crazy story too. I remember this vividly. This is right when uh, Lil Wayne dropped, um, No Worries, the single, and I was watching Transformers this day. Right before school, I was watching the show. I went to school, and we're in the gym getting ready for our school activities. You know what I'm saying? Bro brings his, he brings his iPod. He brings his iPod, and he's playing No Worries, right? And I'm like, damn, this nigga, this nigga Wayne, he's spitting right now. Like, he, he slid on No Worries, right? Yo, 
I'm singing the lyrics, right? And I'm I'm screaming the lyrics like in the gym. I'm screaming them. I'm I'm yelling out. No censorship, nothing. I'm yelling them. And then I yelled out <laughs> out loud. And when I yelled out, <laughs> the coach came out of his office. He came out of his office because like his office like in the corner of the gym, and like it was windowed off, so you can still see it. But like it's blind, it's blinds and shit, you know. He heard me. He gets up. He gets up and he says, he says, hey, who said the P word? I'm looking at him and like, I'm, I'm in trouble. I, 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 it was me. I said it, but like, I don't want to say it because like, I don't want to get in trouble. So I'm standing there like looking at him like and worry like, please don't, please, please don't do me like this. Don't do me like this, coach. Don't do me like this. And some bitch ass nigga, some bitch ass nigga in the back of the gym going to say, going to say, oh, oh, it was just though. Just though said it. Just though said it. And that bitch ass nigga had a mohawk too, but don't trust niggas with mohawks, bro. That's that fuck shit, bro. And the, you know, the crazy part too is about that story. The dude told my teacher. My teacher threatened to tell my mom. And then when I came home, I snitched on myself. My teacher never told my mom. My teacher never told my mom, bro. So she, I essentially snitched on myself, bro. Because when I came home, I told my mom. I said, Mom, did my teacher call you? She said, No. What happened? I could have said, I could have said, I could have said, never mind. But then knowing my mom, she was going to press me about it. She was going to be like, nah, what happened? You know what I'm saying? Uncle Grandpa is what? Problem solvers and whatever this shit was supposed to be. But like actually good. You know what I'm saying? They actually made that actually, actually great. A little generous. Wait, wait, C tier. Wait, 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 wait. What's C tier? What's C tier? What's C tier? Uncle Grandpa? Nah, bro, shit. I mean... I mean, with 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 some of it, with some of it, it was kind of some of it didn't really make sense. I'll be honest. I can I can I can admit and say it. Yeah, some of the shit in Uncle Grandpa did not make sense at all. Bro, that show was stupid as fuck. <laughs> That's what made it kind of funny though, bro. It was that stupid, bro. It's stupid as fuck, bro. Comparing it to the B tier, I I'll put it. I will put it. I'll agree and I will put it in the head of mediocre. Okay. Um, that's not Yogi Bear, nigga. Is that Yogi Bear, nigga? Man, get this bullshit. But this, that's my list. That's my list. Shit. 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 Hey, wake up, David.